Hello everyone. Uh, before we get into our magic product review today, let's go ahead and play a quick fiddle tune. All right, that's it. I have to admit, I wish I could tell you what the name of that tune is, but I flipped on the camera, just started playing, and I honestly don't remember what the name of that tune is. Anyway, welcome to the channel, everyone. If you don't know who I am, I'm Fiddle and Johnny, and this is my Fiddle Channel and Magic Product Review. And today, I am reviewing Yigel Masika's Spider Pen X. And I am going to be unfiltered today on this one and just give it to you straight on what I think about this product. So stick around, and we'll get right into it. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Always grateful that you are here. All right, we're gonna do the Spider Pen X today. And I'm going to break all the rules around reviews. You know, look, these are designed where you should hang out to the very end, where I give you the juicy stuff at the end so you stay for the whole thing. And I want you to stay for the whole thing. Uh, but I'm gonna give you my conclusion right up front because I can't control myself. Um, and I don't, I think this is the first time on the channel where I've really just come out and said, avoid this product. Um, usually I'll sort of say some things like, well, some people might like this. Um, I'm just gonna say, I would probably say stay away from the Spider Pen X. I'm not recommending it, all right? There, all right, now you go watch the next review. Now stick around so you get to hear my entire thoughts on this. Um, what the heck is this? So this is a utility device. And what it does is it allows you to be able to float objects and move light objects. It is an ITR, an invisible thread reel. The invisible thread reel is inside here. And I'm gonna bring it up close so that you can really see this, all right? And hopefully that will focus quickly. The pen is just beautiful. It is a nice, very professional looking pen there. And up here, I'm just gonna show you how it works. It has a spool thread in the top here. And if I take my wax, I just broke the wax as I pulled it. Can you believe that? Okay, see there's that just immediately goes to the issue why I uh, It should not break when I'm just freaking pulling it out ah! I mean That's just annoying. So all right uh, Hopefully I was gonna demo a little more for you, but that's it. That's what, all you're getting there uh, for that So uh, what is it? So it allows you to float objects, okay, uh, and move light objects uh, real on the inside of a pen. Um, all right, I'll get into the details about why I don't like it here in a second, but let's talk about what do you get. So in this box, you're gonna get this pen, all right? And the pen also is going to come with a one quadruple A battery that will run the motor inside here and make the chip that's inside here, the motherboard work inside of this uh, pen right here. You're also going to get a spool of invisible thread that lives in the top here, and it is 40 feet in length, or if you're using the metrics, it's 12 meters. That's a lot of, a lot of thread in there, which is awesome. You're also gonna get a one streaming slash downloadable Vimeo video that is 44 minutes in length. So that's what you're getting. Uh, let's talk about how the instructions are, um, and then we'll talk about the utility device itself. So how are the instructions? Well, there's good and bad here. The good part is, is that it is probably the slickest, nicest looking tutorial out there on the market, hands down. I think uh, Egil Masika really just does some beautiful quality um, look, editing, uh, polish on his tutorials above all others. Um, so that's the nice stuff. The downside. On the tutorial, you get all the stuff you should expect to get. Like you're going to get um, some live performances. You're gonna walk through how does it work and the setup for your device. Um, the sort of stuff that you can expect. Uh, he's gonna go through the stuff that, that I thought was really good in terms of how to attach the wax 
to your invisible thread. Um, I've always sort of done it my own certain way. He has a very specific way he does, which I thought was an improvement and better, and I liked it. Uh, so that part was uh, really good. He'll also talk about what you might expect about what are the limitations with invisible thread, like what are your lighting restrictions and clothing restrictions, those sorts of things. He's gonna run you through a couple of routines. Uh, he's gonna go through a floating bill, a walking bill, and a balancing bills routines and he's going to also go through what you saw there on the if you watched the teaser for the product where it's called relief and he uh leaf puts itself back on a tree uh which i'm not sure where you would ever use that in practicalness it does look beautiful to be honest uh and i guess it's really there to inspire you to think about how you might use uh an invisible thread reel that is right here in your pen um the parts that i uh didn't really work for me is that at a hundred dollars, I'm spending a hundred US dollars for this. I expect something a little bit more than sort of like those four routines. I think anyone who has used invisible thread knows the floating bill, knows how to do a floating bill, uh, especially with an ITR. So there's nothing new there. I think the walking bill is not really that new uh, as well. Um, the relief is new and I think the balancing one is new. Uh, but at this price point, I kind of expect more routines. The other thing that I didn't get on here is that I want real life experience and that all of us who have used invisible thread know that our thread breaks. So what do you do in a live performance when your thread breaks? Do you have an out that you use? On the routines that you use when you have breakage, what is your out? Can you show that to us? Um, none of that, um, which I think is a real problem at this price point, to be honest. And I think for anyone who's purchasing invisible thread and you're going at what I would say, hi, uh, this is higher end, I expect to hear at least a mention of that. So I think the tutorial overall was really lacking, even on the performances. We don't sort of see him getting into the performance. We don't see him sort of doing the cleanup on the performance. He'll talk through that some at the end, but we don't see that in live performance. I want to see that uncut, what it really looks like in your setup and that sort of stuff for the real world. Um, it lacked, it should be there and it's not there. Um, all right, so let's talk about the pen itself. So you already saw it up close a little bit. Uh, I feel like the pen itself is a high quality, nice pen that's a real pen that your spectators could use or you could use yourself. Um, but the problems with it is, is that I found the thread itself is uh, bre breaks really easily at a higher level than just about any other thread I've used in the past. And I know people really like Egal Masika's thread. I myself use loops all the time and have for just as, about, I think as long as loops have been out, I mean, as long as I can remember. Um, and I don't find the same level of breakage on those as I did on this. Um, so. I didn't find the thread to be good enough, quite simple. Also, when the thread breaks, because the motor continues to run um, to recoil your thread, it can get tangled up in here. I've had that problem. I spent three days ago, my thread broke. I spent, and I'm not exaggerating to make a point here because I timed it because I was curious. I spent two hours trying to find the end of my damn thread uh, on my spool to be able to um, do, you know, practice again. Uh, two hours is ridiculous. And maybe that's an outlier. Uh, no, my thread has broken so many times on this and that uh, I feel like I'm spending an inordinate amount of time um, trying to find the thread again and uh, reattach the thread. And I meant to bring it for this video. I have the, this headgear magnifying glass uh, that I use uh, when I'm working with invisible thread uh, so that it's easy to find. And so I'm using this massive magnifier uh, and with that still have challenges with it. I guess some folks will say, well, that's an up. It's really invisible thread. Yeah, but it shouldn't be that invisible. Um, so a problem with the tangling, finding the end on here higher than, uh, than average breakage. Um, some folks might like it. I'm pretending I'm pulling it out. I don't have anything there right now. But um, the tension on it, this would be a good thing, I think, overall, is that the motor runs when you pull out the thread, which creates tension on your string. I like that because I don't want my object 
bouncing too much. I, I, I like it a little bit strong. So that is a good part about this if you're able to overcome the massive amount of breakage. And I'm not someone who is new to Invisible Thread. Uh, if you've been here before, you know that I post uh, reviews of some other products. Um, I'm not green to it. Love Invisible Thread. Uh, and I think I'm speaking from fair experience here, is that um, just more breakage than what is normal. And it takes a while if you're new to Invisible Thread to sort of find what is the limitations of your thread. This, you know, as you just saw, I was pulled it out and it broke. I'm just pulling it out, which should not occur. Um, like if I was in a real professional setting and that happened, well, I immediately don't have to figure out what am I going to do with this pen and why did I pull it out uh, and um, find, you know, a use for that. Or I guess if I didn't pull it out and it's just sitting here, I know immediately like, okay, whatever routine I was going into, I need to go into a different routine. All right. Um, I will say on the upside of the pen, because of the motor, it's activated when you pull it. It stays active for 45 seconds. When you uh, have it retract, it automatically turns itself off after 45 seconds. There's no buttons to turn it on or off. Simply by pulling the string, it activates it. There's a motor in here. You cannot hear the motor. It is really, truly silent, uh, and that is an upside. Um, you can't hear it. I could put it up to my ear and barely hear it. Um, all right, so um, just the thread breakage is just ridiculous um, on that. If you really are going to purchase this, for $15 you can buy two additional spools uh, and uh, you should just have those ready to pop in um, as you go to whatever your next table or however you're transitioning between effects uh, to be able to use it. Um, if you're trying to find it in real time, that's just not realistic and um, it is a non-starter. Um, all right, let's talk a little about uh, does it lock? No, it doesn't lock. Is it loud? No, it's not loud. Is it thread strong? No, not strong. Um, is it easy to fix? No. I, yes, technically it's easy to fix, but it's incredibly time consuming. Um, how long will the battery last? Uh, Egal Masika says that it will last for, uh, basically you should replace your battery every six months and you can expect to get 50 performances out of um, the battery. All right, so I don't know what that really means, 50 performances, but uh, that's how he describes it. Um, all right, I think I've already said most of my pros and cons. Nice pen, looks great, good technology and battery. Breakage is horrible. Uh, difficulty with um, tangling inside here and finding the end of it once it gets retracted back in here has been really hard. Uh, it's easy, you pull it out, you pull out the spool and you look for it, but I found that really hard. Um, all right, also on the tutorial, at $100, I expect you to talk about what happens in real-life performances with the routines that you have if your string breaks and what are your outs. All right, cost $99.95 in the United States. If you want to get spool refills, you can get two spool refills for $15. If you want to buy the black accessory kit, which costs $9.95, which means that the clip on here, where you clip it onto your shirt or your jacket or your pocket. And if you want to get that in black, you can do so. I think if I'm spending $100 for, to get an additional black clip, just include it in the product. Uh, I feel like I'm being nickeled and dimed uh, at this point. You will get wax that comes with it, one little itty bitty piece of wax. You're gonna need more wax over time. Uh, I do use uh, Egal Masika's wax, which costs you $9.95. And this will probably last me an entire lifetime. All right, my final thoughts are, um, if you've been using the Spider Pen uh, series and you like it and you want to upgrade, maybe you consider it. Um, I don't, the upgrades are small, you know, basically it's slimmer, goes for 45 seconds versus 30 seconds. Um, and I think that's about it, to be honest. Um, and you can do the same thing with much more affordable products. So I think if you like the Spider Pen Pro Series, uh, Spider Pen, Spider Pen X might be for you. You know how it works exactly, um, and you might like it. If you're looking for something, I would probably avoid this one, to be honest. Um, if you're a beginner in invisible thread reels, I'm going to make some recommendations, and none of these are perfect either. I like Real Sharp by Uday Jadgoar. And here's that. It's a Sharpie with the exact same sort of functionality, 
I have got the invisible thread out. I have found this invisible thread, which he calls it Kevlar thread, I think, uh, to be really strong and durable and just as invisible. Um, it is analog. There's no electronics in this at all. It doesn't mean that it's perfect. I have had tangling in mine and spent a fair amount of time trying to untangle at times. But at $29.95, much cheaper than $100. You might also consider for $12, again by Uday Jadgar, um, his covert reel. And this is just basically the reel itself and you use magnets to clip it underneath your clothing to be able to use. Now I'm not, Uday Jadgar doesn't know that I'm recommending those products at all and I paid for those myself. So um, those are sort of my recommendations uh, for other options. I know folks will ask in the comments, what do you think is better, uh, the tarantula versus this or that? Um, I don't have all of the invisible thread products out there, so I don't know that I can answer all of those. But those, uh, my thoughts here is, I would pass on this one. So, and I'm sorry to say that to Egal Masika, who I know has put in a lot of time and effort into this product um, and is working hard to make a living with this stuff. But if I'm gonna be honest with you guys, um, I just didn't like it. So, and I wanna like it. So, all right, there we are. I think that's it. Uh, I hope this is really helpful for you. Make sure that you're leaving comments if you have any of the spider pen series, whether it's the newest one or older ones, and what your thoughts are, things that would be helpful for the community to know if they're considering it. Certainly, I'm just one perspective, and other folks love the Spider Pen X out there. Um, and so I know they love it for a reason. I just don't have that same experience. Um, make sure you like. I, I just really appreciate it if you like it, and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Fiddlin' Johnny, and remember to keep fiddling around with your magic. Uh, stick around, maybe I'll show a demo. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye. All right, let's put the Spider Pen X through some of its paces. Uh, we're going to get the walking bill, uh, which looks something like this. Not very good with, you know, folding the bill up, to be honest. But you're supposed to make it like a little bit like a bow tie, like that there. And then... Put that on the back of your hand and it will should walk up and down your arms. There it goes. There we go. That is your walking bill. Hope that looked good. Thank you for watching. Wait, let's do one more. Floating bill. Let's see. Something like that. Get a little static electricity. And it will. There it is. Rise up. I like that with floating bills like this, you can simply do that. So you can see that there's no strings attached. Hope that's in frame. All right. There you go, floating bill. All right, I'm gonna do a quick uh, demo of the balancing bill act. You're gonna take two uh, pieces of currency and you're basically gonna challenge your um, uh, spectator to see if they can't balance a bill just like that on their hand. And then once you're able to balance that bill on your hand, you take it to a whole nother level and you're going to go ahead and take a second bill and balance that on there as well. I don't know if you can see that sideways. Anyway, that is the balancing bills that you can do with your Spider Pen X. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.